हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ जीएसएम नेटवर्क दिस फिगर शोस द आर्किटेक्चरल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ग्लोबल सिस्टम फॉर मोबाइल व्हिच इज जीएसएम द जीएसएम कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मेजर इंटरसेक्शन सब सिस्टम्स फर्स्ट वन इज मोबाइल स्टेशन second one is base station subsystem and third one is network subsystem these systems will interact with themselves and with the user through some network interface to establish the communication first let us understand what is mobile station generally a mobile station consists of mobile equipment and subscriber identity module which is sim this mobile station consist of user equipment if we say user equipment which is nothing but handheld devices for communication like mobile equipment so this mobile station consist of user equipment and software that is needed for communication with a mobile network so this mobile station consist of mobile equipment which is me and subscriber identification module which is sim here base station subsystem consist of two main components which is base transceiver station and base station controller which is bsc this base station subsystem handles the traffic between the mobile station and network subsystem so it will handle the traffic between mobile station as well as network subsystem it consists of two main components first one is base transceiver station which is bts and base station controller which is bsc here bts consists of equipment that communicate with mobile phones so bts consists of equipment that communicate with mobile phones and bsc which is base station controller is to allocate necessary time slot between bts and msc msc is mobile switching center so base station controller is to allocate necessary time slot between base transceiver station and mobile switching center now let us see network subsystem network subsystem is the core network that tracks the location of the caller to enable the cellular services so to enable the cellular services the network subsystem tracks the location of the caller to provide the cellular services this network subsystem consists of five functional units first one is mobile switching center next is home location register visitor location register equipment identity register and authentication center so these are the five functional units of network subsystem the mobile switching center performs the call setup call release call tracing call forward and short message services which is sms so these are the different functions of mobile switching center so it will perform call setup call release call tracing call forward and sms services next is home location register which is hlr it consists of subscriber identity and the plan which the subscriber is using caller tune location authentication using sim cards so these are the different functions of hlr which is home location register the visitor location register which is vlr contains exact location of all subscribers so vlr consists of exact location of all subscriber that are currently present in the service area of msc equipment identity register consist of database so we can say eir is a database which contains a list of valid mobile equipments on the network so it will consist of list of valid mobile equipment on the network if we say database database is the record of allowed and banned users in the network 
so it will keep the database of or record of allowed and banned users in the network next is authentication center authentication center performs the authentication of subscribers so it will authenticate the subscribers in a network so we can say authentication center performs the authentication of subscribers so next is pstn which is public switched telephone network the public switched telephone network will connect with msc so as you can see public switched telephone network will connect with msc so pstn is a network of a fixed line analog telephone systems so it is a network of fixed line analog telephone system so this is about the architecture of gsm network hope you have understood the topic thank you